what's up danny gang welcome back to our channel so judging by the title you guys already know what we're about to talk about but before we get into the video i need you guys to know that i am now accepting new members of the danny gang if you want to be a member of the gang 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 like comment subscribe hit that bell after you hit the bell put your fist up you gotta fight me after you fight me and you're jumped in you're a lifetime member period 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 period, period. Nothing left to say, like period, 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 period. So, guys, judging by the title, you know, we are going to be talking about gaming and the Nintendo Switch. And if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, on my stories, I post a lot about the games that I'm currently playing. Um, I'm getting friends over there on the Switch, and I'm just really enjoying playing my Switch. And I know this video is a little bit different than what I normally do on my channel. However, as I was saying in my last video, my channel is about everything that I'm into. And this year, I want to share more of me with you guys. And if you did peep, I changed my channel name one more time because it fits me and I wanted it to match my other social media platform. So Go Die Danny J is my new name. And Go is really just like a Creole term. Um, if you guys didn't know, I was born in Louisiana, grew up in California went back to louisiana for college and i feel as though i'm more of a southern belle than anything maybe not i'm more of a city girl but in my heart i'm a southern belle so my my instagram name has been go die danny j for so long that i wanted to bring it over to youtube so hopefully you guys understand and gonna still rock with me but this video i am going to just be sharing some cozy games with you guys if you guys have a Nintendo Switch, you know how fun it is. I am a handheld type of person. I had a Game Boy and that was really the only handheld gaming system I had and loved it. So when the Nintendo Switch came out in 2017, I wasn't really into it, but last year in 2020, I definitely jumped on board and I grabbed myself a Nintendo Switch, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. But I really wanted to take time just to share like my cozy games with you guys because with the weather and everything going on, gaming is very calming for me. Some people cook, some people read, which I do do as well. Some people play games, some people draw, write, color. Gaming for me has become an outlet and I love it. So I wanted to share kind of like my gaming side of myself with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, I do have me some iced coffee right here, y'all. It is my protein iced coffee. I'm just sipping on it. Um, this is actually my lunch. <laughs> I'm filming this video at 1.41. So, yeah, this is just my little lunch that I'm sipping on. I made my coffee the way I always do. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get into these games. So, these five games I'm going to show you are going to be five of my favorite cozy games, y'all. They just make me feel so freaking good when we're when I'm playing them and I can get lost in these games for freaking hours. A fun thing that I like to do is like when Babe is up here playing his PlayStation, I'm right beside him playing my game and we just get lost in our games like for at least an hour, which is so freaking fun because I can focus and we spend all day at work or worrying or shopping or taking care of our kids so I just really love the thought of gaming it's like an escape like you literally escape into a different world and I just love it so first let me show you guys my Nintendo Switch so I did get the um, Nintendo Switch Lite because there is a regular Nintendo Switch and there's the light I do have the light and I do have mine in the coral color. However, at this particular moment, I do have a um, skin on it. And this is Kirby. Um, I do have a skin on it. But basically, it's just a handheld device. Um, 
and i love it y'all i love it love it love it um so this is what it looks like and it is really comfortable in my hands that's one of the reasons i got the switch light is because it's really compact it's small i can carry it with me anywhere i can throw it in my purse and i can just power it on and play it as long as i have wi-fi so it is the coral switch you can kind of see the color of my switch right here and that's why i really love this case well this skin because it matches so perfectly but anyway here is the front and i just really really like it i think it's so freaking cute um here's the power button but yeah this is what the front looks like and then this is what the back looks like literally so freaking cute another thing that i have on my switch at the moment are these clear little joy um joystick caps and they're like little diamonds and all you do is pop them on the little joysticks so i don't have one right here but this is what they look like so they're just like these little diamond um joysticks so i really like it so that is my nintendo switch if you guys have a switch let me know what color you guys are rocking with i was torn between getting the coral color and yellow and i end up going with coral and i couldn't be happier but anyway y'all let's just jump into the games so i am going to do this list it's just going to be five games i'm going to talk about and i'm going to do this list um top five five being my least favorite but still love it and obviously number one is my favorite game that i'm playing right now so the first game that i have on my list and i do have it right here the first game is food truck tycoon y'all it's a cozy game because for one in this game is basically you run a food truck and you're serving hot dogs you're serving bread you're serving corn dogs dessert soda you're serving all of these things and it's kind of a fast-paced game but allows you to get lost in it and i love it i've already beat the game and i'm probably going to play it again but basically as the customers walk up you're just preparing their orders and you're handing it to them and it's just a fun little game and i think it's so cozy because you get to look at all this delicious looking food y'all it's a game and it still looks delicious so it gives me kind of like that cozy feeling when i lived in atlanta i used to always go to the food truck park and it just gives me kind of like that nostalgic kind of like cozy feel so food truck tycoon i will leave um the price of these games on the screen because these are games that i did pay for through like the nintendo store however if you guys want to see more videos where i'm telling you guys about free games and things like that then just let me know in the comments because i would love to like literally embark on gaming videos and i think that it would be really cool if you guys want to see those so anyway my number five is food truck tycoon and i am going to be putting some b-roll of these games as i'm talking so that you guys can get an idea of what i'm talking about but food truck tycoon is really fun and then after each level or whenever you've made enough money you can upgrade the appliances you can add more warmers you can add um speed you can upgrade your bread your dessert and another thing you serve is french fries and if you know me you know i love french fries fries like literally love french fries so um it's a really cool game that i literally really enjoy the next game that i want to talk about number four is called when the past was around and y'all this is such a cozy cute little game and like i said it's called when the past was around and basically it is a kind of like puzzle mystery solving game you are going around trying to unlock this woman's boyfriend and again i'll put some images on the screen so you're trying to figure out the pieces to the puzzle to unlock her boyfriend and it's kind of whimsical it's really nice i love the graphics and i love the color scheme that they went with so yeah each level you're unlocking things you have to open things put the pieces in the puzzle and after you beat that level you will unlock him and he's like in a cage or something like that you're just trying to get to him so it's kind of like a whimsical love story that you are unlocking and it's just really cute it's really cozy you can get lost in it especially valentine's day just passed so you're trying to reunite her with her man her lover her best friend and it's just 
a really cute game. Um, again, I'll leave the prices on the screen, but it's called When the Past Was Around. And I'm still playing that. I was going back and forth between that and a couple more games, but I loved it. It's definitely aesthetically pleasing, and I would recommend that you try this game. It was really nice. <laughs> So, the next game, number three, is Stardew Valley. And, y'all, I'm literally still trying to get my arms and mind around Stardew Valley. So, basically, your grandfather in this game has gifted you his kind of, like, farm. And you are um, basically growing his farm. So, you, you're very stressed out. You hate your job. You just want to get away. So, you move. And you're able to name your farm. You're able to pick your clothes you're able to um, pick like where you want your farm base so it can be by a beach or wherever you want it and then once you move you're able to get to meet the people that live in the town you can um have a romantic relationship you can get married but then you're also like growing crops you're cleaning up and you're just building a new life in this remote area with a tiny town and you're just living um and this is really cozy, especially for us or for people who don't really particularly like their job or if they do feel trapped, then this is Stardew Valley is a really nice getaway so that you can kind of escape and grow your farm and it's just plenty of challenges that you get to do and complete and like i said you get to meet the townspeople you can go into the town you can shop um you can buy things you can go fishing so it's really like a very fun type of getaway game that i literally enjoy and this is the latest game that i've been playing stardew valley so i don't know everything about it but i do know that it's really fun it's really cute i love the graphics in this game and i do love the color scream as color scheme as all as well i think that the creators really did a good job and it gives me a nostalgic feeling as well and just that warm cozy you know building up uh, a town it kind of puts me in a mindset of like the sims um or the infamous animal crossing um but it's just a really cute game that i think you guys would enjoy so number three was stardew valley and it was just really cute I enjoyed it. Number four is the infamous Animal Crossing. So Animal Crossing is literally the reason why I purchased the buy Nintendo Switch. Everybody was going crazy over Animal Crossing last year and it's worth it. I think Animal Crossing was the number one game last year and a well-deserved title. So basically, if you don't know what Animal Crossing is, you are able to embark upon a journey where you live um on an island so you get to pick your island you get to really have a lot of fun to me it's most reminiscent to the sims and it's really cozy you get to build your house you can add rooms and you can add um storage and you can just add all of these things and inside animal crossing you can go fishing you get to meet your friends on the island you get to add and take away um people that live there if you don't like them you get to change your clothes um it's it's a resident office it's a campsite i mean it's so many things in animal crossing and it's so fun and it's so cute um you get to have like fruit on your trees you get to make money and animal crossing is literally like its own community you'll get like a favorite islander and it's just really 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 cute i love animal crossing um, I literally play Animal Crossing every single day. Like, not a day passes where I don't log on to Animal Crossing and just check on my island, say hey to my friends, and just enjoy it. You can travel to other people's islands if you're playing online, and it's just literally one of my favorite 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 games um period so if you don't know have animal crossing i definitely encourage you to play it um they're constantly doing updates on all these games but animal crossing definitely has updates all the time and it's so cool because animal crossing is like in real time so if it's um christmas they know it's christmas if it's you know a specific holiday in the game they know it's that holiday and i just think it's so cool it's so cute your characters are so cute you can have a mask on during this pandemic so it's really cozy because it just 
put you in a mindset of what's going on right now and i just think it's really awesome so number four is animal crossing y'all and number one the number one game that i am loving right now and it has literally taken my breath away and i'm enjoying so much is called coffee talk of course it has nothing to do with coffee so i discovered coffee talk by watching like um switch tiktok a gamer tiktok there's this gamer on there that i freaking love and i think her tiktok name is cozy dot games she's awesome a lover and she told me about a game called coffee talk and i'm like i must love this so i looked it up and it's really dope so basically in the game you're a barista and you own a coffee shop and people are steadily coming into your coffee shop and they're telling you their problems y'all so some of them have relationship problems some of the people have problems with their job some of the people just have problems um in general like writer's block so they're coming in they're telling you your problems you're helping them out giving them advice but at the same time you're brewing them coffee and chai tea lattes and green tea lattes and you are the barista you get to draw like little designs on top of their coffee and it's just such a cute cozy game it's based in seattle so it's raining outside and people are walking past your coffee shops so it is literally the cutest most coziest game ever and i'm just loving it right now so um yeah that's coffee talk and again i'll put the cost of all these games on the screen just so that you can have an idea i think most games range from like a dollar all the way up to probably 20 30 bucks like for the new games but they're totally worth it because you can keep playing them and a lot of the time these games have extensive gameplay so you can play literally for hours and not beat the game and literally get lost in them so um Food Truck Tycoon, When the Past Was Around, Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, and Coffee Top, y'all. Coffee Talk. Those are my five favorite games that I'm playing right now. So if you guys have a favorite Switch game, let me know what it is down below. And if you have a Switch, let me know what color you have down below. It can be a Switch or a Switch Lite. Like I said, I have a Switch Lite that I'm loving, but I may get a Switch one day. Who knows? Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more like gaming videos, cozy game videos, then let me know. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave the control controller the little gaming controller down below and i'll see you guys in my next video deuces